DDP, your match tonight. Good luck with it. Have a good luck with your match, ATP. I'll be watching. Good luck. Yo, you ready? I play him. You up next. Let's go. And this one is about to spill over. In a hurry, welcome back to Derby City Wrestling. Timmy Baltimore, alongside Kenny Bolin and Twinkle Toes. You this is your main event of the evening. If you don't mind, I'm going to steal one, another one of your lines. It smells a lot like tater tots and cat urine out here. It really does. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Josie, representing the Confederate States, the Mobile. Boomers. You know what? It ain't really a line because if you come out here live to the shows, you know they smell Whoa. like tater tots and cat urine. And keep in mind, we don't know, Twink, which two of the mobile homers are going to be facing off against JTG. And his partner. JTG's partner under that. I incredible. did see his partner. It was the man they left playing last week. But there's something a little different about him. He's very strange. You know the partner, huh? You got me, man. I got no idea. There's something a little bit different. I thought, I thought I might know, but I don't think I know. As JTG, a man who's been all around the world, returned to his roots here in Derby City Wrestling, and he's brought some back. Look, J JTG gave him some inspiration we last here. week, and, and he seems to take that inspiration on board. Whoa, whoa, is that what I think it is? It, it's, oh. What? Oh. It's the Soul Cat! He's got soul! It's the Soul King, Kenny. I saw that oh, guy running around in the back. I didn't know that was him. I can't believe it. I've seen a lot of sights in my life. Yeah, he's never looked better. I thought never we'd been paid a visit by Norvell Austin. I didn't know who that was. Never looked better, the Soul Cat. Their opponents, first, Davis Arena. Welcome, the Soul Cat. His partner from Brooklyn, New York. J T G. The Soul Cat has arrived. Soul Cat has arrived. I'll go along with that. And J T G. Well, bring love, it, bring out love, a little soul. Yeah, I love his intro music. He dances great to it. Well, he was, he was a bit. He was a bit. the last album you bought, wasn't it? That I actually paid for. <laughs> My son downloads them all whoa, for free whoa, now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dewey's what? getting kicked out. Nine fingers Dewey being ejected. It looks like it's going to be Adam Revolver and the Man Beast taking on uh, JTG well, and the Soul Cat. I've been busy tonight. It looks like the Soul Cat, Dre Blitz, has been taking some inspiration from JTG. He's changed his whole persona. Soul Cat looking good out here, huh? Even you gotta, even you gotta confess there, Twink. Looks like he's got soul. Yeah, he's got soul. Do me a favor. Oh, okay. Never do that again. Uh, uh, Who sings that song, Twink? I just did. No, that's not what you were doing to it. I want to know who actually sung it. Back to the action. You oh. bellowed. The rabid pit bull of the mobile homers. The man beast. Calls himself the impact player in Derby City. A former OBW television champion. And he's taking on a man who's a former Southern Tag Team champion OBW. A man who had his start here in he's a the Davis idiot. Arena, JTG. He's a blithering idiot. He is trying to rile up JTG. Uh, do you think the Man Piece is actually visioning uh, Chico Alvarez in the ring at this I, moment in time? I think Man Piece needs some serious psychological help. He needs to get over Chico. He thinks Chico he, stole he, his he girlfriend. Gave, well, he gave Chico a tough way. It is a bit of a mystery that when Chico left, so did G. And it's no mystery right now why JTG is unloading on Ted the Trailer McNailer after that beatdown last week, that sign of just utter and, and deliberate disrespect on the part of the mobile home. Well, somebody told me that uh, man, that man... Roll up, hold on one sec. Two. Someone told me that Man B's girlfriend became a member of the Mile High Club uh, on that flight back to uh, uh, Oregon. Oh, <laughs> good lord. I don't know that for a fact. That's just what I'm hearing. I'm That's not a legal, not oh. a legal tag there oh. because Adam Revolver, his feet were not on the apron. And the Soul Cat Dre Blitz I'm not, taking down Man Beast. Not coming out and saying that Chico had his way with Man Beast's girlfriend, but that a lot of people saying it. Really? Boy, All I this, know is the girlfriend's no longer around here. She can't be seen anywhere. Tag in to. Hey. 
the technician, the brains I of heard, the mobile homers. I heard homers. rumors that it actually wasn't half bad without that bag on the head. Really? I just, just thought thing, otherwise. things I'm hearing. And the Soul Cat was looking pretty impressive, but it looks like the the tag team work but what's of the mobile version? homers coming into play. What's Chico's version of half bad, you know? Who knows? Soul Cat now powering his way out, wrenching on the arm of Adam Revolver. Adam Revolver thinks Josie ain't half bad. Josie's beautiful. Makes me wonder how and she thrown. got wrapped up in. Oh, she I, got, I got other girls around here at DCW. I got my own. She, she'd have to ask me nicely and say, please, but, you know, I, would, I wouldn't be rude. And look at JTG, the fire in his eyes. You know, it was just a few short weeks ago when JTG returned to the Davis Arena after going on to superstardom in the world of professional wrestling, came back to his roots here in the Davis Arena, and his parade was literally rained on by the mobile homers, and it hasn't stopped since. And look at the Mambies. He's out of his mind. He was outside today. He found out what it was like to be rained on. He just called in the disco man. Well, man beast is He wants cracked. the disco man. He wants he wants John Travolta Jr., huh? There's an uppercut to the midsection. Oh! And a drop kick by the Soul Cat. Dre Blitz. Dre Blitz defies gravity at moments. And he's doing so right before our very eyes. And he's well, fixing his fro. I think the mobile homers decided they don't want so much of the soul cat right now. Hold it on. Oh, oh, unless you can hit him from behind, of course. I wonder if we're going to see unless the soul twist Unless you can clock him when he ain't looking. The soul twist. The soul twist. Is that what you're calling it? And you know the sad thing about this, you never get to say the Jaguar again. Oh, you even pronounced it wrong. And look at the raking at the face, the profound mean streak of Adam Revolver and Ted the Trailer McNailer coming to fruition and a hard elbow to the base of the neck of Dre Blitz. And JTG has mustered up a different side of Dre Blitz, pulled something out of him that we'd never seen. And at the early goings, it was starting to benefit him. But the mobile homers using the number games, using those tactics to overcome. Looks like the mobile homers are kicking the soul right out of Dre Blitz at the moment. Oh, oh he likes to be called the Soul Cat now. The Soul Cat, a cover. Man, near fall on the Soul Cat, Dre Blitz. Soul Cat has arrived. Soul Cat has arrived. But he may be departing very soon if the mobile homers got an have early anything flight to do out. with it. He's got an early flight out if he don't get it going soon. Maybe a layover for him. Adam Revolver. Four, four hours in L.A., tell me about it. And Ted the Trailer have anything to say about it. But right now, the DCW faithful coming alive for Dre Blitz as JTG chomping at the pit, trying to get the tag, and a handful of Afro brings the Soul Cat down to the mat. Personally, I think the throw is a disadvantage in professional wrestling because anyone can get their hands on it yeah, and maneuver all over that ring. It's an advantage with the ladies. Look at the leg, too. Quick kick out I by Dre Blitz. The throw's got to go. Does the word man, beast, and stench just kind of go hand in hand? I think so. Like He just oozes once a month's bath. It just kind of, you just see it on him. There are rumors that some, uh, some of the women in Louisville like the man, beast, must. And there's a back elbow. Real women, not blow up dolls. Apparently some of the, the, the Louisvillean ladies uh, are quite attracted to the odor that man, beast produces. The one that you date, I can see her like a man beast. Tag out to Adam Revolver. And you're seeing the quick tags. Very smart. There's, there's plenty of her to go around now. Two, very smart tag team maneuvering on the part of the mobile homers. They live together. They tag together. They do everything together. Use the bathroom paying together. Off. Well, you call it living. I call it slumming, Timmy Baltimore. Well, I'll agree with you there, Twinkle Toes. I do call it slumming. Oh. oh. Well, they're, they're slumming on the Soul Cat right now. And that Brooklyn temper coming out on JTG. Needs to keep that in check. He's doing more harm than good well, to the Soul Cat. Temper ain't going to do him much good outside those ropes right now. He's got to get in there and help his partner. He's going to be no help at all. Going for the cover now on the Soul Cat. Forearm across the jawbone. And in comes JTG trying to lace those Timbos across the opaque bald head of Adam Revolver. Adam Revolver's in control, taking charge. Got Dre Blitz exactly where he wants him. He's set him up. I've heard it said that, uh, that, that, that he's yogurt colored. I wouldn't doubt that. And it won't take much more punishment, I can't think, 
of the two-on-one beating that's been ensuing for the past few minutes on the SoCat Dre Blitz. I don't know how much more he can withstand. And what a leverage maneuver. This is know. the opportunity. He got the tag. In comes oh. JTG, and JTG is unloading Rapping, from the Bubba Homers. Rapping on that hand. JTG's got a fist of fury. Fist of fury and oh. warranted fist of fury. Yeah, Bruce Lee won't mind that uh, little comment you made. Oh, and, uh, JTG outsmarting the mobile homers on that exchange. Give me the guy that can't do that. And there's the meeting of the, the minds. It's the first time they've used those things. Whoa! Oh. Let's call it, in their case, the meeting of the craniums. A hook of the leg. Not Richard either. Two. And look at that. JTG scouted it coming the second time. JTG scouted the homers. The meeting of the empty skulls. My, my was mad. Oh! Call it, Twink! Oh, oh, oh. The Soul Cat, what you? Oh, he lost oh, his mind. Oh, and what the Soul Cat to the outside is. Look at this, Dre Blitz. Oh, oh and a chop block from behind. Nine fingers, Dewey. He was ejected from I ringside. I think he was not long ago. And the Soul Cat may be down and out. Referee He's legless. That's what he is. As the Mobile Homers lining up JTG, the knee into the Bulldog. And the Mobile Homers, can they do it? They got the leg hooked. The Mobile he Homers. got even a shocking upset. Put away JTG and the SoCat. Here are your winners, Adam Revolver and Ted the Trailer McNiller, the Mobile Homers. Those little SOBs have just got him a victory over a former WWE superstar. The biggest win, undoubtedly, in the career of the Mobile Homers. Have they settled the score with JTG and the Soul Cat here tonight? Anything can happen in DCW. And anything will for Twinkle Toes and Kenny Starmaker Bowling. I'm Timmy Baltimore. We'll see you here next week on Derby City Wrestling. He's getting him some more. Oh.